Okay, this is part one on iguana care. First thing you need to know is I have two iguanas. I had one a few years back, but he got kidney failure from lack of proper lighting and lack of vitamins. And this is why it is very important to keep your iguana very healthy. Okay, just uh, basically, in a nutshell, I want to say that iguana care isn't as simple as people think. They need the proper lighting, they need the proper food, uh, you know, just they need a big cage to grow in, and you know, they need to be held a lot. If you want to tame iguana, you got to hold them a lot. But anyway, uh, this is my little guy. I just got him about two weeks ago. His name is read the words read the word bug that's what I call him this little guy when we first got him we thought it was a girl and we named him Liz he's three years old now and he's a pain in the ass he's always getting out of his cage that's why I got him out right now so he can just walk around and get some exercise but anyway you don't want to feed him a lot of lettuce because lettuce isn't very nutritional for baby iguanas or even adult iguanas. It's basically feeding them uh, solid water. It doesn't have anything but liquid in it. Not very healthy. So mainly you want to feed them stuff like kale, spinach. Not a lot of spinach, but some. You know, fruits, vegetables. You don't want to feed them a lot of stuff with... Uh, potassium in it you don't want to feed them a lot of stuff like uh, strawberries or peaches and mangoes you can but not a lot uh, you know you want to cut the food up no bigger than the space between their eyes or else they'll choke because they really gobble up some food when they eat but uh you know you want to give them proper lighting I have a heat bulb and a UV bulb a UVB standing for ultraviolet B Ultraviolet A, they don't need so much of, but the UVB is very important. Just one sec, he's trying to get away. Oh, come on, bug. UVB is important for their growth, shedding of skin, organ production, absorption of calcium, all that. Um, UVA is more for their sense of well-being, their happiness... It's like people. If people don't get enough of sunlight, they start getting depressed. Well, iguanas are no different than people in that sense. But, uh, you know, this is just one of many videos I'm going to make on iguana care. And, you know, just, you don't want to just get an iguana just to get one. You, you want to research. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the knowledge out there for people who are thinking about buying one. So... Um, they take a lot of care. You got to handle them a lot for them to become tame. Um, you don't want them to get mean because they'll get mean if you never hold them. They'll be scared of people. You know, you you want to you want to hold them a lot basically. And uh, like I said, don't feed them a lot of lettuce. You know, they need a lot of leafy greens, collard greens, mustard greens, spinach. Uh, you know, they like squash. They definitely, especially like peas. But you don't want to keep feeding them just peas. They can't eat one food. They got to have a variety. And the best way to do that is to buy a bunch and mix it up and, and freeze it. Um, if you don't buy a lot, you don't need to freeze it. But if you buy a whole bunch at once, you can cut it up, mix it together, bag it up and freeze it. And then thaw it out as you need it. Okay, well, this is video one, and uh, tune in for video two real soon. Thanks.